what happened during that election. Uh, unless you're a very stupid person, you see what happens. A lot of the people, <laughs> a lot of the people in this audience. Yes, and sir, we're going to just win. We're at a point now. We're getting so close. Let's just win it again and straighten out our country. One other question on this. You're not stupid at all, uh, but you perhaps are given an agenda or you have an agenda. Look, I was just saying there's no evidence of that election fraud. You did I once tweet. You're supposed to say that, but you know, I'm glad you say that. But look, it's that was truth, a horrible election. That was a horrible election. And we have to have honest elections in our country. We have open borders. We have I said, we'll give you soldiers. We'll give you a National Guard. We'll give you whatever you want. And they turned me down. You're and in fact, she secretary. turned me down. She tur excuse me. She turned me down. <laughs> I didn't have a script. I don't need scripts like a certain person that's in well, there right time, now. What time? The video. It, it came out much later after they had already attacked right the Capitol. But that okay. video that you referenced there, it wasn't posted until 4.17 p.m. No, I'll tell they you. They breached it the Capitol at 2 p.m. That video Mr. was posted. 4.17 p.m. Yeah, before, actually a little bit before that. Chris Miller was your acting defense secretary. He says you never gave that order. But back to what happened on that day. He you said did you not weren't, say that. You, he has testified that, Mr. He President. He did not say that. But you said you weren't very... Why did you? Why did it take you three hours to tell them to go home? I don't believe it did. Oh, let me pull it out. I have to pull it out. <laughs> and this was in the form of Twitter. Now use Truth. Truth Social. I think it's far superior. Okay? I hope everybody's... <laughs> They took it down. I don't know why. I think they took it down because it was so good. They didn't like it being up there. Mr. President, I looked at the same timeline that you did. Once no, I know, it was but you clear, didn't report that. You know why? Because it was we taken did report down. it. I, I was reporting that It was that taken thing. down, or it wasn't. But when it was clear to you that they were wasn't, not. do you feel that you owe him an apology? No, because he did something wrong. He should have put the votes back to the state legislatures, and I think we would have had a different outcome. I really do. <laughs> But he doesn't have the authority. The vice president does not have the authority to okay, reject those elections. Are you ready? Let's have this one results. out just now because it's interesting. Let's keep it interesting, right? <laughs> I like Mike Pence very much. He's a very fine man. He's a very nice man. Did they change the law then, saying that you can't do it? They didn't change the law. They strengthened the law because they were worried about. Oh, they strengthened exploding. it, meaning you could do it. <laughs> Thank that's, you. That's not what it means. Thank you. They strengthen In Washington, D.C., you cannot get a fair trial. You cannot. Just like in New York City, you can't get a fair trial. <laughs> What kind of a woman meets somebody and brings them up and within minutes you're playing hanky-panky in a dressing room, okay? <laughs> I don't know if you, she was married then or not. John Johnson, I feel sorry for you, John Mr. Johnson. Mr. President. This is a fake story and you don't want to give it credibility. One That's thing why you, I didn't go. One thing you did do in this. I have no idea who the hell, she's a Mr. whack President, job. Mr. President, you, you did not testify in What is the first thing you would do to help bring down the cost to make things more affordable? Drill, baby, drill. Do you think the U.S. should default if the White House does not agree to the spending cuts Republicans well, are demanding? You might as well do it now because you'll do it later. Because we have to save this country. Our country is but dying. We have a very big mental health problem in this country. And again, it's not the gun that pulls the trigger. It's the person that pulls the trigger. And we have to protect our second amendment. We have to protect them. Then, I was totally exonerated, by the way. Just a waste of time and money. You were impeached over that. You were impeached by a crazy woman named Nancy but Pelosi. But the question here is, first. would you give you credit? I took the documents. I'm allowed to. You know who else took them? Obama took them. Nixon took them. Obama Reagan did not took take them. documents. Oh, he didn't? He, the, difference, he didn't. the difference here that I'd like take to a look. know. But you know Biden. who took them more than anybody is Joe Biden. He has 1,800 boxes that's and nobody even knows where they are. You know 1,800. And nobody talks about him. I would like for you to answer the okay, question. Okay, it's very simple to That's answer. That's why I asked it. It's very simple to You're a nasty person, I'll tell you. <laughs> you going to do something or just stand there and bleed? Why is it that Biden had nine boxes in Chinatown and he gets a lot of money from China? Why is that? And there why, no why aren't that, people, Mr. President? No, you, you, know, can, you cannot why aren't there people is no bringing evidence that up. of that, Mr. And, President. And when we can't make a call to question election results, then this country ought to just forget about it. You weren't just questioning the election results. I was you were asking the him election. to find you votes. These people are sick. Anybody that wants this to happen to our country, they're destroying our country, and this should not be allowed to happen.